What's up everyone, this is Anton, and today we are going to talk about using a page in Jekyll. If you've been using the internet for some time now, you must have seen a whole bunch of pretty cool 404 pages like this, or this, or this, or even this, uh, or this. The number 404 did not come out of a blue, 404 is the HTTP standard response code, indicating that the client was able to communicate with a given server, but the server could not find what was requested. Right now, if you try to access a page that does not exist on our site, you will get this pretty blank page with no found error. We want something nicer, don't we? At this point, setting up a custom 404 page is as easy as creating a 404.html file in a root directory. Let's set layout as page, title as page not found, add a line of text, and an image. Now, if you try to access a non existing page, we still get the same page. The reason for it is that we need to restart Jekyll for Webrick server to notice our new 404 page. Now we can see the content of our new page while the URL will remain. This will be all for today. Thanks for watching. This was Anton. Bye. No, but seriously. The reason it was so easy is that Jekyll is using Webrick server which does all the work for you. This will work in your local environment and if you deploy your site to GitHub. We can also notice that our new page is featured in our main navigation. This is definitely not what we want. To fix our navigation, we can edit the if statement in the header.html. Let's say that we only want to use the pages that are using layout page, and if the page title is not page not found, save the file and see our new menu. This might be enough for you at this point, but I want to give you a little extra information. If you're planning to deploy anywhere but GitHub, chances are you'll end up deploying to a server that uses Apache. To tell your server what to do instead of returning 404 error message, you'll need a htaccess file. htaccess is a configuration file used to override a subset of server global configuration for its directory and subdirectories. It's often used to specify restrictions for directories, writing long URLs into shorter ones, blocking by IP addresses or domain names, using custom error responses, controlling cache and more. To create the htaccess file, we need to create an empty file in our root directory. In the YAML front matter, specify the permalink as .htaccess. Save the file. Now we have two options. Either we send a message for our lost user writing the htaccess file, or specify the path where the user will be redirected. Let's stick with the second option so we can use previously created page. Important to notice that you won't be able to see dot .files in Finder as they are hidden by default. But you can still view and edit them in your text editor. To test it in the Apache environment, you can use free software called MAMP. It stands for My Apache, MySQL and PHP. The link will be in the description. You can see in the settings that I've set up MAMP to start the server from MAMP folder located in my documents folder. We can change it to our site folder and start the server. Now it can be accessed by typing localhost in your browser. If we correctly set up our HT access file, if you try to access a non-existing page, we'll be taken to our 404 page. You can also use HT access to improve performance, security and many more. If you want to learn more about it, I will leave a link to a GitHub repository with a sample HT access file with a lot of useful features. You can find all the links in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.